Hi, my name is Rachel Shinnick and I'm a member of the BU Sport and Performance Psychology team. Today I want to teach you how to embrace and overcome adversity to prepare for your upcoming competitive season. It's no secret that you all have faced one of the largest challenges and barriers to performance that we've ever seen during the last year and a half. While things may be mostly back to normal this season, residual challenges will be present and without having played competitively for over a year, it's imperative that we prepare you mentally to return to play. I wanna discuss the concept of growth mindset and how it can be applied when we are faced with adversity. In the simplest of terms, growth mindset is the belief that we can always improve, learn, and grow. Fixed mindset is the counterpart to growth mindset. And a fixed mindset is the belief that where we are now is all that we can achieve. Athletes that have a fixed mindset avoid challenges and see failure as the limit to their ability instead of as an opportunity to learn and grow. When faced with adversity situations or a seemingly insurmountable challenge, you'll be much more likely to find the strength and willpower to continue if you appraise the situation with a growth mindset. This means viewing failure as an opportunity rather than as a setback and embracing challenges as potential for growth. This is gonna be a skill that's developed over time and takes practice, but if you can start incorporating these ideas into your routines now, you'll find yourself much more mentally prepared to handle adversity when it inevitably comes your way. So with that being said, let's address the obvious here, the adversities and challenges presented by the pandemic. You'll have not been able to play competitively for over a year and that presents its own set of challenges. Getting back into a competitive mindset will not be easy, but I am here to tell you that we can use a growth mindset as a way to help you stick with it on the hard days, find inspiration in your sport, get better every day and grow as an athlete. This coming season will be hard. You may get frustrated or disappo disappointed, and that's okay. These are valid emotions and responses to have with what you've gone through. But what we don't wanna do is let those emotions or feelings take over. So I'm gonna walk you through some ways to begin incorporating more of a growth mindset. A way you can begin to adopt a growth mindset when it comes to adversity is to visualize challenging situations within your sport. Think about what your typical response might be when you're faced with a challenge. Decide whether that response aligns with a growth mindset and then reappraise your response to more closely reflect one that embraces the challenge. For example, maybe you are matched up with an opponent who is seemingly taller, stronger, or faster. How might you respond in this situation? Maybe with a bit of resignation or self-defeat? A way to re reappraise this situation would be to acknowledge and recognize the strengths or differences of your opponent, and then strategize about how to use your own strengths and abilities to outwit them. And if it turns out that the opponent really is taller, stronger, or faster, can you find a way to focus on what you learned from that experience? It can really be difficult to accept a loss, but the reality is that we won't always win every matchup game or competition. What sets an athlete apart from the rest is when they're able to adopt a growth mindset so that they can learn and grow from that loss. Let's apply this idea to your experience with the pandemic. While everyone had a different experience as a whole, what unites you as student athletes is that everyone was in a similar boat when it came to competing and playing your sport. As difficult as it might be to think about any positive things that have come as a result of losing a competitive season, can you think about anything that you've learned about yourself as a result? Can you think of anything you learned about how you view your sport? For some of us, maybe it was in the absence of our sport that we were able to reignite a passion for that sport and work to improve specific skills or techniques. For others, maybe we learned what things we like to do outside of our sport. How can we use a growth mindset when reflecting on how the pandemic affected our experiences as a BU student athlete? This is where I challenge you to really contemplate how you responded to the adversity and what you learned about yourself as a result. Intentional use of language will be incredibly important in practicing a growth mindset in the face of adversity. Think carefully, carefully about wording when you describe a challenge. A challenge may be difficult, but it's not impossible. Even just the difference between these two words demonstrates a fixed versus growth mindset. Impossible implies finality, whereas difficult is just the beginning of the process. The language you use to describe or appraise an adversity situation will determine how you prepare to engage with that adversity. So if you align yourself with language that's reflective of a want to learn, grow, and get better, you'll find yourself better equipped to do just that. This applies to your self-talk as well. 
the words you use mentally have just as much an effect on your experience as the words you vocalize to others. If you tell yourself that a certain drill is impossible, you'll have a much harder time getting through that drill and getting better as a result of it than if you tell yourself that the drill is just difficult, but you'll make it through. Likewise, if you are struggling to get back into that competitive mindset because of the pandemic and get into a habit of using negative self-talk, it's gonna make your experience even harder. Adopting a growth mindset means viewing any challenging situation as an opportunity to get better. So tell that to yourself. If you tell yourself you, get through, you can get through this, I'm here to tell you, you can and you will make it through. If you're interested in learning more about these mental skills and services, the BU Sports Tech team offers free mental skills training services to BU student athletes and teams. We provide training in mental skills that have been shown to improve performance, make performance more consistent, and aid in overcoming barriers such as performance anxiety, pressure, difficulty to stay focused, and injury. For more information or to sign up for services, visit GoTerriers.com and click on the Sports Psychology tab.